everybody. My next guest tonight uh, won four, count them, four Emmys during her years as a uh, head writer for Late Night with David Letterman. She's also the author of three books, including her latest right here, Meryl Marco's Guide to Love. Please welcome Meryl Marco. Meryl. <laughs> Is that always the music you're played on with, wherever you go? Oddly enough, always. Yeah. You know something? There was an interesting accent on that dog. It, was, it, was like, it looked like a Rottweiler, but I guess it was an Irish wolfhound. <laughs> Had a kind of a, a Russian peasant yeah. thing going for yeah. it. Yeah. But it works. The it dog works. A real, it was a very good act. Oh. Well, let's talk about this, uh, let's talk about this book, because I'm actually interested. This is a guide to love. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm a single guy. I mean, I have a girlfriend, but I can always improve. Uh-huh. Is this a... Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. It... No, 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 no. You don't understand. Let's clear this up right now or I'm going to catch hell when I get home tonight. I mean, improve in my own department with my girlfriend, not... Oh, please. What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> anyway, I Guide to Love. Uh, yeah. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, what I did, um, uh, I tried to do a lot of... I tried to learn stuff about love. I did a whole bunch of research about love. I read a lot of books. I did mm -hmm. a bunch of experiments. Mm -hmm. I went to a lot of seminars. And, for instance, like one thing I did was... Um, I don't know, you, you don't read women's magazines, but in the back yes, of Yes, I do. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. It's a big problem. But, no, tell me about women's magazines. Well, then you know that in the back, uh, really often, there's a full-page ad for something called breast enhancers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any of those. No, I don't have myself breast enhancers. Yeah, was... well, they are something that you can put in your bra. And I've they... never understood what they were, yeah. Well, they look kind of... They look like breasts, really, and you put them in... Well, they're hard to describe. Well, actually, they're, they're kind of... <laughs> oh, my God! They're just... They're basically like this. That's what they look like, and... <laughs> it's kind of, like, kind of like a bean bag, and yet, you know, you can kind of toss them. They're, they're... You can toss these, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Andy and I are going to be... Can I use one of those? I was going to give them to you, but... You know, I was going to give one? them to you, but I heard you're in the gay porn. Yeah. Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> The improv comments are always so... We're funny. always, the yeah, we're just... Start in, and then the next thing oh, you know... that is really gross. <laughs> I'll Thank hang you. on to these. <laughs> I'll bet you will. Yeah. Uh. Now do you feel better? This is like... This is going to be a new addition to the set. These will be placed on the desk, and when an interview... When I start to lose interest in an interview, just... <laughs> so... These are uh, very, um... They're very... I'll show you. So anyway, they're working... weird feeling. They feel kind of real, actually. Well, they actually are made of the same stuff that they use in breast implants. And, uh, and what I did was I wore them out one night. I wanted to just see if my life would change radically or anything. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really notice that anybody was treating me all that differently. And then I went up to check myself in the ladies' room, and I found that while it was in my bra, it had traveled <laughs> to here. <laughs> So that I had like basically like an isosceles triangle of breasts going just very and even frightening. Then, no one was paying attention to me. Oh anyway. man! Well, you mentioned self-help seminars. That yeah. intrigues me. Yeah. So I went to all these self-help uh, seminars for this exciting book. Uh -huh. And one of them, um, uh, it I followed. I went through all those catalogs that have the weird headlines. And the headline on this one was "How to Turn a Man into Putty in Your Hands," mm -hmm. which sounded amusing to me. Although I was thinking, you know, putty is very hard to get off your hands. <laughs> uh huh. So, uh, so this seminar, when we went in, I brought a friend with me, and they, uh, they were handed out the course syllabus, and it, it said, the Sophisticates Seminar. And then the next thing they did was they get, gave everyone a replica of the male anatomy on a white china plate, which I thought was a good idea, because, you know, we Sophisticates, we like a simple china pattern. <laughs> well, I don't understand. They, they handed out this, uh, this, this a replica. replica of the male anatomy, yeah. You had a, your choice of six or eight inches, black, white, or mulatto. Are you kidding? No. And so it's handed on a plate, and then yeah. what and happens? Yeah, and then every, so everyone, it was, it was this uh, hilarious tableau where all these women were sitting around me, each with a white china plate with a replica of the male anatomy on it. And then the woman who had uh, organized the course, well, she said, well, do you all know this is a class in oral sex? Which I didn't, so I had to put my putty knife away really quickly. <laughs> Well, thank and, God that you did. Yeah, yeah, and then she went on to teach us all these different techniques that she had figured out. And as she showed each technique, then the women in the class were watching and kind of going, <gasps> which kind of reminded me of like the way they do on QVC every time they bring out a <laughs> ring and necklace kind of combination. You know, oh, oh, really? And only $9.95. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
and uh, and so this was and the and the point was actually to help people well, perform this act of uh, various acts. Various. Okay. Various, How yeah. specific were they getting here? I mean, Very specific. There was a replica of the male anatomy sitting on the white. Yes, white you mentioned that. You mentioned yeah. all the different types and the sizes. That, yes. Uh -huh. That would be why it was uh, very, very specific. Yeah, actually, she had. Um, it, it, she had done a lot of creative thinking along these lines. It reminded me of that page in the Girl Scout Handbook that was all those different ways that you can tie a piece of rope, each with like mm -hmm. a separate name, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Morning Glory or Hummingbird. But in mm -hmm. this case, it was things like Ode to Brian was one. <laughs> Named after some guy, Brian. <laughs> uh, Ode to Brian? Yeah, that was one. And right. Tantric Cross was another one. Oh, okay. You know, tonight's show will be shown at 3.30 in the morning. By the way, I should, <laughs> I should mention, on Cinemax. Yeah. So, check it out there. Uh, well, the book has uh, plenty of uh, advice, right? Plenty right. of... Uh, uh, well, actually, it's, uh, it's just everything that I could figure out about love is in this book. Oh, and are you more optimistic now than you ever were? We're out of time, but it, it, you, do you feel like there's hope out there for all of us? I think there's hope out there for all of us. Okay. I have a message of hope for people. All right. Uh, but it's go. not in this book. <laughs> it's somewhere no, else completely. You know, just all in right. general, I have a message of hope. Well, uh, I'll hang on to the, put these over here. Meryl Marco's Guide to Love is out there. Make sure you pick it up. And I'm sure these breast enhancers are out there, too. Yes, they are. Those, up. All those right. very ones are out there. We sell them in the NBC store down in the lobby. <laughs> we'll be right back with Bonnie Raitt and Little Milton. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.